In the cosmic chaos, there was an egg. Inside the egg lay Pangu. He was the first god, the first giant, and simply first. Laying inside the egg, he began to form heaven and earth. Every day he would grow, and every day the heavens would rise ten feet higher, and the earth would grow ten feet thicker. In the beginning, it was small, and chaos still ensued all around. But each day, as Pangu grew, so did heaven and earth. After 18,000 years, Pangu was finally finished. Heaven was now extremely high, and the earth was incredibly deep. Some say this was the formation of yin and yang while others would say that yin and yang came first, putting order into the earth, and that it was only from that order Pangu first began to grow and eventually emerge. As all things, except immortals, must die, so did also Pangu. But with his death, creation bloomed, for his body became everything we see around us. His left eye became the sun, while his right became the moon. From the strands of his beard, the stars were formed, his four limbs and five extremities became the edges of the earth and the five mountains. His blood formed the rivers, while his breath became the winds and clouds. His flesh turned to earth, and the hairs on his head became the plants and trees to grow in it. Metals and rocks appeared from his teeth and bones, while his semen and marrow became jade and pearls. Finally, his sweat and fluids gave the earth rain so that it could hold life. Perhaps Pangu was also covered in mites and insects, and it was from then that became the first humans. But on that point, Nuwa would like to disagree. The goddess Nuwa saw the earth and heaven that Pangu had formed with his dying body and his final breath. She found it so beautiful that she decided to live there. But after a while, she became lonely and decided to make people. She took up the yellow earth and began to form the people with her hands. The work was tiring and exhausted her. Eventually, she decided to grab a leather cord and simply drag it through the earth, shaking off the pieces of earth from it and creating the rest of the people that way. Now, she no longer had to be alone. But after a while, the humans began to die, so Nuwa started to form new people again. She knew she could not be bothered to keep forming new people constantly, so instead she gave humans a way to reproduce. After this, she withdrew, being content with what she had made. Little did she know that her work was not done yet. Many years later, a terrible flood passed over the entire land, and only two people survived, a brother and a sister. Both of them wanted to reproduce and ensure that humanity would survive. However, they felt great shame because they knew they were siblings and should not intertwine. They called to the heavens, but received no answer. So they decided to do two tests. First, they went up a high mountain, rolling down two millstones, one on each side of the mountain. Only if the stones landed next to each other could they then marry. The stones rolled down the height of the mountain, and at the bottom, both were lying next to each other. They had passed the first test, and now felt comfortable getting married. Now, they went to separate locations and made fires. If the smoke from the fires intertwined with each other, they could have children and would be able to repopulate the desolate earth. After the fires had been made, both the brother and sister looked up into the sky. Slowly, the smoke that had risen separately from both their fires had become one. The brother and sister were sure they had the blessings of heaven, and so they had children. However, when the sister finally gave birth, it was not the child they had expected. Instead, a spherical piece of flesh had been born. They were distraught. Had they misread the signs? For nine months they had waited for a child and instead received this abomination. They wept together, and as they wept, Nuwa heard them and appeared before them. She took a knife and cut open the spherical piece of flesh and formed not one child, but many. After humanity had been created and was reproducing, the Jade Emperor, Lord of Heaven, sent three emperors to rule over them. The first he sent them was Tianguan, meaning Ruler of Heaven. 
he would bring happiness, freedom, and riches. The second was Diguan, the ruler of Earth, who would judge over the people and their actions. The third was Shuiguan, the emperor of water, who would control the rivers and overcome diseases. These three emperors were worshipped all over China. When the Jade Emperor saw humans on Earth and how they were living, he decided to give them some rules on food. He called to him the Dung Beetle and told it to tell the humans to eat once every three days. However, by the time the Dung Beetle had traveled back down to the humans, he had confused the message and instead told the humans to eat three times a day. The humans feasted away, gorging themselves with food, and as a result began to excrete a vast amount. At this time, heaven and earth were closely linked, held together by great pillars. The Jade Emperor was horrified by how revolting the humans were and could not stand the stench, so he separated heaven and earth to get away from the smell. To punish the beetle, he made it eat the dung that the humans excreted. Please note that in this video, many creation myths have been fused, so check the description if you want more information about this. Chinese mythology is filled with emperors, some which are based on real historical emperors who have been mythologized, and others who are simply gods that are called emperors. All of China's emperors were seen as gods, just as the pharaohs in Egypt were, but it can be hard to determine which emperors were gods of mythology and which were based on historical rulers. If you want to discover more captivating Chinese myths, please check out our book, Chinese Mythology a captivating guide to Chinese folklore, including fairy tales, myths, and legends from ancient China. Also, if you haven't already gotten your free mythology ebook bundle, grab it while it's still free. All links are in the description. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want us to create more videos like this.